Good day, this is Crypto Saibo, bringing you bits and bytes of crypto. Guys, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my personal experience, viewpoints and findings with you. Please do your own due diligence. Okay guys, as per usual, <coughs> this is our weekly campfire conversations where I bring you some of the uh, crypto world's news. Um, it's only brief highlights, things that caught my eye. There's a lot of news out there and even in the ones that I'm going to share with you if there's any more detail you would like just go and google um, the topic and read the full articles Okay, <coughs> so we're going to have a look at Morgan Stanley today a Visa, Bitcoin, Hands of Steel, Grayscale, Oakland Athletics Japanese Court, <coughs> Old School Bitcoin Wales MicroStrategy, Alex Jones, and Bitcoin performance and platforms that I'm in. <coughs> so Morgan Stanley is making three Bitcoin funds available to clients. Now Morgan Stanley is one of the largest US investment banks um, with three trillion dollars in client assets under management. So you can make investments as early as next month after the bank's um, financial advisors completed the training courses regarding these new cryptocurrency plans so there's going to be three plans Galaxy Digital, the Galaxy Bitcoin Fund LP the Galaxy Institutional Bitcoin Fund LP and then the third is a FS NYDIG Select Fund now two of these funds have a minimum investment amount of $25,000 but the third the Institutional Bitcoin Fund has a minimum of 5 million US dollars. Visa anticipates cryptocurrency becoming extremely mainstream within the next 5 years and are working closely for it to allow, for it to allow Bitcoin use at 70 million stores where Visa is currently accepted. Bitcoin hands of steel 37% of Bitcoin hasn't moved since 2017 and another 55% <coughs> sat idle after the 2018 um, lows that Bitcoin had. So people are hodling, they're waiting for the big boom to cash in. Grayscale launches five new crypto investment products as investor demands for cryptocurrency source. They offer now they now offer a total of 14 crypto investment products. Now, for those of you not familiar with Grayscale, Grayscale Investments has 42.9 billion in net assets under management across all of its products. So another big institution going the crypto way for its clients. Oakland Athletics, it's a professional baseball team just announced that um, the club is accepting Bitcoin for season tickets. So now it's the opening day, a set of six Oakland A's full season suits can be purchased with a single Bitcoin which is currently a discount in comparison to the regular costs. So even on the sport front, Bitcoin is starting to be accepted as payment. Japanese court convicts Bitcoin tax evader. The trader gets a year in prison and a fine of 200k. So guys, you need to pay your taxes. Um, if you're still getting away with it, all good and well. Since I believe we pay a lot of taxes. Crypto is not regulated. We're supposed to declare, but yes, be careful. <coughs> Old school Bitcoin whales are moving. This week a single entity transferred 10,000 Bitcoin acquired in 2013. Now if you're not familiar with the term whale, a whale is a single entity that has a very large sum of Bitcoin and whales are usually um, also, um, how can I put it? when there's a big pump and dump in the market yes it's sometimes the whales buying and selling to manipulate the market MicroStrategy just purchased another 262 Bitcoin for 
an amount of 15 million dollars in cash so as of the 12th of March they hodl just over 91,000 Bitcoin acquired for around 2.2 billion dollars at an average price of 24,000 dollars per Bitcoin Alex Jones the host of Infowars and Alex Jones show lost a laptop containing 10,000 bitcoins. Max Kaiser gave him the 10,000 um, bitcoin on a laptop 10 years ago. At the time of writing the story, the price of bitcoin was 56,200. So the lost bitcoin is worth around 562 million US dollars. Yeah, that's a big loss. Bitcoin's performance, we are back in the high 59s after the recent all time high of 61,782. Although it's been a very bad week for crypto in general, people getting wrecked, markets are very up and down sideways, even for trading. Um, yes, it hasn't been a very good week for, for crypto as such, even though the prices are good. Okay, platforms I'm in. Cash FX still holding strong, holding out, um, doing well, the average of 6% a week. Um, they're bringing out a new entity to the platform, which will be in the form of some uh, copy trading. Uh, so I'll keep an eye out on that, that's something that I will be interested in. So expanding the business. Impulse X. Um, low percentage weekly percentage but steady income you um, can enter as little as ten dollars because that's what the packs are they forever packs ten dollars um, and mark uh, regularly do videos where he shows his trading bots in action you can go check it out on the youtube channel as well daisy oh, waiting for the relaunch of the smart contract failure and glitches which is supposed to happen now the 15th it was moved to the 19th and if not the 19th the 22nd of March we'll see what happens PGI very strong payout every week consistently no problems no issues they just um, recently changed the internal syst uh, payment system for quicker and better payouts and to um, they also changed that you can now, uh, instead of every Monday only, you can withdraw any time in the week now. But they are behind on the payments currently. But people are still getting paid um, just down in the queue. Uh, some of my upline and downline, I did um, at different intervals confirm payments. I'm waiting for my payment as well now, my last one that I've um, submitted in copy pro traders this is something that I'm promoting heavily now um, in the light of the recent scams this past year copy pro traders uh, you create an account on a crypto exchange which is safe and then you create API keys you provide the API keys to copy pro traders and they do trading on your behalf without even touching your money or having your money or Bitcoin in their accounts. Let me repeat that. They do not have access to your funds so they cannot take it and run off with it. They do mirror trading. Okay, to put it in layman's terms you you bank at your specific bank okay me i'm the trader so i phone the bank and i give instruction i say take mr x's money put it in that trade okay so the bank puts it in the trade and then i give instruction take the money out of the trade when it's in profit and put it back into uh, mr x's bank account Okay. So in essence what's been happening now is I'm the trader gave the bank instruction to make you a profit but I never laid hands on that money or that Bitcoin and I cannot lay my hands on it. 
so it's very safe in that sense that's what's called mirror trading okay your bitcoin and and usdt stay on your exchange they don't have access to it to run off with it or to scam out with your money and that's why i like this idea and that's why cash fx is also going that way going through a broker doing copy trading where um, you can make money off their traders performance Qubit X still going strong, just changed to Qubit Life um, recently, I need to change the name there with um, a lot of good products also up there, big company like CashFX and PGI with a variety of plans, digital licenses, etc. Bitscap, that's a bot that I'm currently running, um, it's doing okay, not very extensively well. Um, but yeah, it's more for long-term uh, prospect and depending of course what pairs you trade, what coins you trade against each other um, that also determines your outcome of your percentage but anyway, I'll do a review on Bitscap a bit later well that's it guys, um, there's a link tree in, uh, in the description below if you want to sign up for any of the platforms that I'm in I hope this was helpful and informative if it was please hit the like button below also share, subscribe and hit the bell icon for future news and updates below is a link to subscribe to my telegram channel for instant updates and then lastly guys never invest more than you can afford to lose and always do your own due diligence that's it guys have a great day ciao for now, Cyborg signing out